Hello everyone, in a short video I'm going to show you how you can use Python uh, for machine learning in uh, Azure Notebook uh, that's actually noise preview and it has the a place that you can put your Python code in Jupyter Notebook and actually and also have your data through that. So how what we need to do is actually you need to go to Microsoft Azure Notebook. So just search for Azure Notebook and you will find that one. So that's a Microsoft Azure Notebook. It has a Jupyter Notebook and as you can see it has possibility to write the code. So this is a one that you have and here uh, I'm logging with the, my account that is uh, for the Azure one. So I'm logging with that one but also it's possible to use the other. I'm clicking on my project and here is a place that you can define a new Projects. I define a new project. I call it Python um, Python classification. So I'm going to do the simple classification using Python. I make it as a public. Okay. So now I'm going to import data. So I'm going to actually to upload a new data. Uh, you're able to upload data from URL, from blob storage or any other place or from your computer. I'm going to choose the data that's a uh, data that we use always for demos that is Titanic I'm using this time. So I just upload it. So the data will be uploaded here and I can see the data over here soon. So now I'm going to create a new environment to write my code i as you see can uh, i can create a markdown blank file or a folder or a notebook i'm going to create a notebook and as you see here i have access to python uh, 2.5 uh, sorry 2.7 3.5 and 3.6 i use this one also r and c sharp so i put a name for that that titanic classification just that one titanic classification make it a bit nicer okay and i create a new environment so this is my environment that actually you see here i can easily click on that is open a jupyter notebook environment for me so to do that uh, i this is just you see that it's running the python you can uh, specify which one you want to use it and actually which one uh, can you kind of is the same environment that we have in jupyter notebook so what i'm going to do i'm going to first read the data to read the data i need a, a library or uh, we call it library or package or whatever that we call it pandas so i'm going to import Panda. So this Panda actually already installed because the Jupyter Notebook is already installed. But when you're using in the uh, other Python that you already installed, you need to uh, using the pipe install to install them. But here is already installed. So I just put the code here and click on the run. And you see that when you get a number, that means that is already run. So now I'm going to actually to get the data so i'm going to get the data from here so i just put it so I said titanic better name and here i said panda read titanic csv because the full the file is actually the folder that i'm working so i don't need to provide any address but uh, in the normal other python code that you get data from different resources uh, and you didn't upload it in the same environment you need to provide address so i use the function read csv to read the file that i have and it's going to store it into the titanic data set so let's look at the uh, some of the uh, the first uh, about five rows of the data using the function head so it actually shows you the file the first five rows of the data i'm going to run machine learning on this data but the problem is that i don't want all of the columns so i'm going to write another code that is actually i use the function drop to remove the column that i don't need and then store it into the other data set so i define a data data titanic titanic that was my original data set drop and the name of the columns that i don't 
black so just run it take a couple of seconds and again you can just simply use the uh, function dot uh, head to see the what we have now so it actually shows so these are the data that i have there's another problem with the data i'm using the classifier that is doesn't accept the string one so i need to convert uh, to the uh, male and female to zero and one so i'm going to define a, a kind of the a record a, that actually male is equal to zero and female equal to one so i'm going to run it so this is mine and now in the data set i'm going to mention that that actually if for the six uh actually column replace it with a mapping that we mention here so if i run it and again i able to see the data this time using the head it actually should shows me something like that so is everything is numeric here moreover you want to know that uh, actually how many rows of the data you have there is a function titanic that shape that uh, is not a function is actually a command you see that it doesn't accept any uh, kind of bracket so if you just use that one it shows you that actually we have about 891 rows and four columns there is a problem with the data i already know that i have lots of null value in the age of the people so uh, actually uh, i can kind of see that one so what i'm going to do i'm going to use a command uh, named drop na so it's kind of the same as the drop but drop na uh, using this one to remove the one that has null value so just run again so now the data is good uh you can again see the shape of the data here so if i this time run the shape you see that is remove about uh, close to 100 rows of the data and we have this data so data is kind of clean so now we are going to specify some data for training and some data for testing so what i'm going to do i'm going to specify that x is actually is hold the survive column that i'm going to predict and in the sorry in the y we have the label of the survive and in the x we said that we don't want to see the survive so we want the other ones that we are going to train the model based on them so i will specify that then i using the uh, one of the library we have for splitting the data for test and training in python name uh, train test split to actually to put some data for training and some data for testing so i specify here that the x train so x train is actually the place that uh, for the training of the data so x train and x stage and actually the other one so let's see that what we get so for the uh, here is actually we specify the uh, uh, so always x uh, contain the uh, kind of the data that is actually for training and this one is actually is data for the kind of the testing we want to test that one so let's see that how it works so as you see that we specify training and test here we put about two percentage of the data for testing or 80 percentage of data for training so this is specify you see that is star because it's take a couple of second a couple of minutes or second to actually to run the code so as long as it's finished it's get a number so now let's look at the data first we are going to look at the train data set that we have so in the train data set that actually uh, in the we have about 571 rows and three columns if you want to see the data you can easily again use the head to see the what sort of data is going for training so this is our actually data that we have so in the x train we have the data that is labeled for training so if you remember from the code here for the x we drop the y axis so these are the data that we are going to train the mode also for the test for the x test actually if you look at that one you see that we have about 141 uh, uh, 43 actually rows of the data 
and for that scenario. So now let's uh, use a function name, um, uh, decision tree classifier that actually use the genie uh, and also uh, uh, criteria to actually to run the to apply machine learning on the data so these are the data that we have now i'm just going to uh, store the model first into the variable name clf and then in the next step i'm going to put some data for training and some data for testing so this actually these are the test and train data that i have now if i pass the test data set to see that how it look like you will see that actually i run it so now let's run the see the result over here so this is my data that i have so just want to see that what we get in the output so it's actually uh, we get the uh, actually the output so just split because it's not a data frame so this is the array so these are the data that we get for the 141 rows of the test data that we have for training so this is a very simple example uh, about doing python in Jupyter Notebook, so you see that how it's easy to run the code. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can run this code in Power BI and apply the data, uh, apply the machine learning on the Power BI. And later on, I also will show you about uh, apply the automated ML inside Power BI, uh, Power Query, and you see that how you can use Python code to uh, actually consume the automated machine learning uh, package that we have in uh, Azure Machine Learning Services. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, hope you enjoy it.